Charles Froman is an actual historical character. He was a, a theater producer and kind of had a monopoly on theater venues and contracts all across the United States in the early 20th century. He also leased several venues in Europe. He was a really, really big deal. He was like the king of theater producers. He was a huge advocate of uh, J.M. Barry's uh, work and produced several of his plays, including Peter Pan. He was responsible for bringing Peter Pan to the United States, as well as the plays of Oscar Wilde, which was kind of a big deal at the time. And of course, Captain Hook. I had the tremendous pleasure of playing Captain Hook with Kathy Rigby in Peter Pan, so it's very interesting to uh, revisit the character in a completely different context. In this production of Finding Neverland, uh, Captain Hook really represents sort of the dark side of J.M. Barrie's personality and, and appears to sort of encourage him to write an antagonist in his play, to really, you know, uh, it, it, to remind him that children like to be scared, they just don't know it yet. <laughs> Once you put the hook on and grab the sword, uh, your work is pretty much done for you. Plus, it's set, these characters are so iconic. Captain Hook's first appearance is way upstage in silhouette, and all, you know, the audience sees the hook and they know instantly who this guy is. So, you know, a lot of my work is done for me. It's a crowd pleaser. You know, this play is a, it's a real crowd pleaser. People love it. And I can't recall being more enthusiastic about bringing a story to America. I think, I think Cleveland and the rest of America are going to absolutely love this. We've played uh, Buffalo and Pittsburgh so far and the response has been really enthusiastic. It's very gratifying and it's really fun. <laughs> it's a story about a boy who, who doesn't grow up and you know I, I think we all <laughs> have a little, a little bit of that, that sort of delight and um, you know sad poignancy of, of the inevitability of maturation and you know, I, it's, I, you get to revisit youth, and but there's also, <laughs> it's funny. The script is funny, and there are some, uh, there are some situations that I think adults will find extremely humorous. <laughs> my parents were very far from the theater. My uh, father was a rural letter carrier, and my mother uh, was his substitute, and my dad also drove a school bus. My parents were, however, remarkably supportive of me in this really small town in western Montana. I remember signing up for courses in college and my father looking at the list, you know, communication, uh, education, and he says, I don't, I don't see any theater classes, I don't see any drama classes in there. And I was like, what? He said, you need to, you know, you need to do what you want to do and you need to, you know, figure that out. So that was a tremendous gift to have the support of my parents. And they, they uh, saw just about everything I did. They got to come to the Tony Awards with me and, they really, really enjoyed my career. It was something that we could share together, and it's, uh, they're no longer with me, but uh, I have the very fond memory of, of them enjoying and celebrating my career with me. So I'm really, really grateful for that. I rarely get to do comedies, so comedies are great to do because there's an actual, you know, you can hear the response as opposed to, you know, when you're doing this ad play. So yeah, it's, it's, it's terrific, and the response to this play has been overwhelmingly positive from the audience, and that's really fun, really gratifying.